Hey guys, how's it going? Hope you're having a good day. Hope you had a good long weekend, or if you're still enjoying your long weekend, I hope you're having a good time. Um, I decided to run class. I usually run classes on the long weekends because there's usually people around who are interested in doing a little fitness on their day off and uh, worked out well. The morning class is waitlisted. My evening class is full. I uh, got to teach to a group of 10 to 12 year old boys today. <laughs> um, every so often I'll do a youth cycle for them and they'll come in and they'll, they'll do a 45 minute spin class and um, you know they're good kids and I, I am not a kid person. <laughs> I actually get pretty anxious when I have to be around kids. I don't know why I just feel really awkward around kids but these guys are great and they they were really good. They did their workout. They were really polite. They said thank you afterwards so it was all good fun and I'm sure that they will be back again for more of that and which is really awesome because a lot of kids these days are not getting even the minimal amount of physical activity they should be getting and you know that's due to having so many distractions devices and you know bigger course loads at school for these guys and stuff like that so it's so great to see a group come out and actually take an interest in their fitness and, and do their workout with me and uh, really cool that they're so polite <laughs> so Easter what comes with Easter? Usually quite a bit of sugar. And um, I'm sure some of you out there probably had some sugar over the weekend, maybe too much sugar. So I'm going to talk about what to do to recover from a sugar binge. Hey, Bob. Hi, Steve. Hey, Mark. <laughs> um, so it happens to us all, right? Um, well, maybe not everyone. Not everyone has a sweet tooth. I know I sure do. Seriously, I don't know if you guys know the store Cupcakes. Um, it's a store here in Vancouver they have a couple of stores and they sell cupcakes in different sizes and they sell some big ones like probably like like big like that and um, I've been known to eat three in one sitting like to the point where I'm gagging from the sugar but I still eat them all I don't know what's wrong like what happens you know it's almost like this thing takes over and you can't stop <laughs> luckily I don't live very close to one so I don't see those cupcakes very often but yeah, I'm, I'm definitely a, um, a sugar addict in recovery. Hey, Nolan, how's it going? So I know all too well what the next day feels like, and uh, it's not good. It's equivalent to a hangover from alcohol. Like, you feel like crap. So I just wanted to talk about some things that you can do to recover from that, in case any of you are suffering a little bit today. Um, I did pretty good. I had um, I had Kinder Eggs. I love Kinder Eggs. All the toys and those things. I don't know why. I just do. Um, but I didn't go too crazy, so that's good. So first and foremost, hey Angel, how's it going? Um, don't beat yourself up. So don't get up the next day and be all angry with yourself, and you know tell yourself that you did a bad thing and um, you failed or whatever that negative self talk is. Don't do that. <laughs> it's not worth it. It's not going to fix anything. It's definitely not going to make you feel better. And um, there's no point. You can't go back in time and, and undo it by beating yourself up. So just, you know, it happened, whatever, move on. And uh, it's just a part of life. We're going to have those slip-ups every now and then, usually around holiday time. You know, we get, we get relaxed and we indulge in stuff that we love. And that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. It's not what you do on one occasion. It's what you're doing the majority of the time, right? So just let it go. I used to really, really beat myself up over stuff like that. I'd be so mad at myself the next day and just so miserable. And it's probably what um, added to the depression I was going through anyways. And it just, you know, it was terrible. It's a terrible place to be. So don't do that. Um, hey, James, how's it going? So the other one, don't try to undo what you did by not eating the next day. This is another one that I was really guilty of. If I binge the night before, then the next day I'd be like, oh, not allowed to eat today. That's it. No food today. I ate too much yesterday. And um, that can be one of the worst things you can do. Because what's happened is you had a bunch of sugar, so your blood sugar spiked. And now if you go the entire next day and you don't eat anything, your blood sugar just plummets. And um, it's really hard on your system. It's hard on your body, hard on your hormones. Um, and if you do that enough, you're going to mess up your metabolism. You're going to throw your hormones off balance. And that is hard to recover from. That takes a lot of time. So instead, um, look for foods that are going to help you recover. So look for, um, you know, protein, high quality fats, um, foods that are high in fiber, like fruits and vegetables. So just, you know, eat a really healthy day. <laughs> It'll make you feel better, um, a lot better than if you were to starve yourself for the whole day. That's for sure. 
So you just want to think about um, normalizing your blood sugar again and uh, protein and fat and fiber. Those are the things that you really need. Um, try not to say, oh, screw it, I'm just going to have a second sugar binge <laughs> because that will make you feel even worse the next day. So the other one, drink lots of water. So, you know, it makes sense, right? You just put all this junk in your body, so help to clean yourself out by drinking some water. And um, putting some lemon in it is uh, a good idea as well because after a sugar binge, um, you're dehydrated, that's why you need the water, but you're also very acidic and our bodies do not operate well when they're acidic, which is a big part of the health problems that we see today is that uh, people are, are chronically acidic. So you want to alkalize um, your innards <laughs> and um, adding lemon, fresh squeezed lem lemon juice to water actually helps to create an alkaline condition in your body, which seems weird because you think lemon, you think it's acidic, but it actually helps to alkalize everything. So you can try that. You can also try drinking a green juice. Um, I have a green juice that I, I love. I get it every once in a while. Um, and that's another way to just kind of get everything back into um, an alkaline situation rather than being acidic. Um, another one, this is pretty cool, take magnesium. I'm hearing more and more about magnesium these days and uh, it's incredible what it's good for. And um, the fact that the majority of people are actually quite low in magnesium is very interesting. So magnesium is essential to help process sugar. So you need to have that magnesium. It also helps with um, digestion, insomnia, and, uh, and mood as well. So getting your magnesium is pretty important. Um, and let's get rid of that bloat, right? The sugar bloat. So all of a sudden your stomach's a lot bigger than it used to be. And that just adds to the, the, uh, the way you're feeling. You're feeling like crap and then you look at your belly and then you feel more crappy. <laughs> hey Darcy, how's it going? But um, we can do something about that. So what happens is the sugar really throws off the bacteria balance in your gut. So we need a, the proper balance between good and ba bad bacteria in our gut. And when you eat a lot of sugar, it uh, destroys the good bacteria. So you need to build that back up again. So taking a high quality uh, probiotic is a good way to do that. Um, I have my shake every morning, which has a, a very high quality probiotic in it. So that keeps me um, on a good even keel. So even if I've had a sugar binge the day before, I'm still looking after the um, after my gut bacteria to make sure I'm keeping that in balance so you don't suffer so much with that bloating. So those are the ones that I found that I thought made a lot of sense and I wanted to share with you guys. Um, hope that helps some of you if you needed that help. Um, and you know the main thing is to keep moving forward. So if you're on your health and fitness journey and you have a day where you know you binged on sugar and uh, you're not too happy with yourself, just let it go and keep moving forward. Like I said, it doesn't matter what you do in one sitting. It's what you're doing the majority of the time. So you just have to learn to let it go and beating yourself up. All that does is it sets up a negativity in your head. And if you do that often enough, that negativity doesn't go away and it affects your entire being. So don't let that happen. Hey, Robin. So just see it for what it is, whatever, you indulge, no big deal, move on, keep moving towards your fitness goals, keep your goals in mind, and uh, just get back on track and, and don't let it get you down. <laughs> All right, guys, I got to go because I'm going to set up for my class that's coming in, and uh, I need to clean up the studio a little bit. So I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to message me anytime, and um, you can also check out my blog for more of this type of information, holyfit.ca, and uh, that's it. I'll see you guys again tomorrow.